So hello everybody. I hope everybody's had a good had a good week this week. I wasn't able to get a video done on Wednesday, sorry. Um, but today we're gonna take a look at this T59 from Hobbycraft 135 scale, a Fade Yun version from the Iraqi army. Take a look at these instructions in. Don't think it'll take too long. Start with suspension, sprocket, road wheels. Idler wheel, put the road wheels, road wheel arms on, put the idler arm and the road wheels on, the sprocket in the back, the back plate here, you have here a whole lot of hole detail. For these vents you have some of that, uh, the netting, the black netting, and here is a mesh, you can cut it out here. I just did it without cutting it out. You can do it like that too. And here you have to make some holes. And that's to put all the stuff on it. There's a whole lot of detail, you know, you have this this wooden uh, protect the, to protect the driver from small arms. And the fenders, and you have these uh, fender supports here. And here are these the whole sides, the exhaust cover, a whole lot of detail. Some of the tools. Here you have all the uh, these, these um, sponson boxes. Here, here, here. <clears throat> These kind of look like fuel tanks. I don't know exactly. It doesn't say what they are. Some of you got tool boxes and stuff. Tow cable. This is instructions for the motor, which it didn't have. Here, put the track together, put the track on. Top of the hole, under the bottom of the hole. Here are these little parts here. This is just the piece that goes underneath to hold it onto the cab. And here we have the infamous log. Some of the back detail, the, the, the holders for the, the fuel drums. And the back fenders. And the fender supports, and you got the 12.7 millimeter uh, machine gun. <clears throat> and then here we're starting with the turret. You got the uh, main gun, and one of the the sights, and some of the turret detail here, which is not a lot really, just a couple parts here, antenna and stuff. Put the turret together. Here we have infantry rails, these the uh, crane, crane, the lifting things. And here we put the a, a roll on it, put the hatches, the machine gun, the cannon. And here hatches. You put it together and it's finished. And here you can see the parts on the back. Five sprues, the bottom of the hole, poly caps in the track. <clears throat> so here's a model. Um I did really heavily heavy weathering on it. Um here the mesh has started to loosen. I mean I built it a long time ago and I redid it a couple years ago with more weathering and stuff and the decals the track is actually okay for poly track it doesn't look so bad and I think it turns out decently but there are a couple problems with fit one I think this mantle might stick out too much I'm not really sure about it really but it looks like it might be I don't know doesn't look right somehow. Looks a little bit too big, uh, like it, uh, like it sticks out too much. And there was a uh, fit problems here in the back. <clears throat> and part of that problem was because of these the the holders for these fuel drums. But in the front, it didn't fit together all that well either. 
the road wheels and sprockets and everything look pretty good, but there's not any detail inside there. On the bottom is some though. It has some decent detail. I didn't fill this in. Because you'd have to fill it in and you'd have to make a strip for this too, really. The back. Well, there's something missing there. I don't know what it is. I built it a long time ago. I think it does turn out pretty good. But to get it to better, you would have to... You would have to work on the fit on the, uh, the top of the hole to the bottom of the hole. And maybe a different metal. Like always, I'll put the parts in that you can get for it. If there's anything. But there's probably better kits out there, but... You know, I was always buying cheaper stuff. It still turns out good. I think. I think... I mean... It's very, 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 very heavily sanded. Like it's been used in the desert. The machine gun looks good, and the gun tube looks pretty good too. I don't think, really think you need a metal gun tube for it. It's 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 bad, not bad, and it's pretty. It's it's nice and round. It's not warped or anything. Even though there is a, a line across here that I should have did a little sanding on. It's, I could still do it and put some paint on it, but. And the only problem, the big problem with these Russian tanks, or Chinese made Russian, all the T versions with the fuel tanks on the back, is it's really hard to get them straight. And they don't hold very well. I've had problems, I had problems on the T72, I had problems on this one, even though this one's not as bad as the T72. But, oh, I know what's missing on the back, that's the log. I got it somewhere too. So it does turn out pretty good. The meshing is a little bit, I don't know, it didn't hold very well. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And next time we'll be taking a look at this uh, IJN Yukikaze from 1945 and 1700 scale from Ayoshima. So until then, bye.